Shut up and sit down. Hey, you scallywags. We have a plethora of 118 goodness to get through, including, of course, a bunch of Joy Toy stuff to catch up on. We start with the newly announced Warhammer 40k Space Wolves Claw Pack. Looking more like Space Wolves than the initial release, Joy Toy have injected more personality into each design of the Marines resulting in a more individual look for each character. All seen here, looking like they're ready for a good time. First up is the pack leader, Logan Ghostwolf, with his golden flowing locks and huge axe. Next up is Brother Gunner, seemingly based off my mate, Fryhill Customs. He looks to be an integral part of the team as Fryhill is to the Skellywags TV family. Brother Olaf is the first of two who sports a lovely wolf helm, the first we've seen of this design from Joy Toy. And finally, Brother Torval comes equipped with an impressive double-sided chainsword. These four are expected to be released in the next few months, most likely August. So we've had the Blood Angels Death Company, now Joy Toy finally release their not as crazy brethren, the Blood Angels. This release comprising of three Marines and one Aggressor. First up is Brother Sergeant Ranyan. Ranyan has a pretty standard loadout of pistol, rifle and chainsword, but no alternate head. In fact, no one in this release comes with an alternate head this time round. Next up with an additional knife to his loadout, and first of the three army builders is Brother Marine 02. This will probably follow suit of the as yet released Imperial Fists, where you can buy each figure individually. Brother Marine 03 is exactly the same as his 02 brother, but without the additional accoutrements. Probably the best out of the lot though to start off as a base for a custom. Brother Marine 04 is the aggressor of the lot and is a chunky fella. He has a couple of weapons that will be welcomed in any battle you get into, especially the yearly dance battles of heresy. Not to outdo the aggressor, we have the even larger Furioso Dreadnought, Brother Samuel. Something you probably wouldn't want to meet in an alley, as said alley would likely be destroyed by the mere presence of the Dreadnought, Samuel will be an intimidating addition to your Blood Angels team. If the bulkiness of the Marines isn't your thing, then perhaps you'll be into the much-anticipated Death Corps of Krieg, Veterans Squad. There are six figures inbound, and this is the Guardsman Demolition Specialist. You'll find each of these figures coming with their own unique accessories. Here is a standard Guardsman. I really do like the overall look. It's like something out of a, an alternate World War I. The sergeant comes with his own small or more regular sized chainsword. Or maybe if you're a space marine, puny sized chainsword. 
Next is Guardsman with Flamer. Kit Lau from Acid Rain World fame probably drew a lot of inspiration from these designs for his original Acid Rain World military. Have you ever thought to yourself, I could do with some paperwork accessories for my figures? Well, that's exactly what you'll get with the Guardsman Communications Specialist. Always ready to put pen to paper, even in the heat of battle. The Guardsman Medic comes complete with fancy bag for all your medicinal needs and stuff for the battleground when you lose your limb. Now for some early stage prototypes from Joy Toy with these two figures first looking like Samurai Ronin or Vagabonds. Unlike anything we've seen to date from Joy Toy, this is a great new direction, which we'll hopefully see in the next few months. This cyberpunk cowboy lass, or cowgirl, looks like she fit in with the 2179 line to aid Detective Smith on his adventures. This next lass looks like the same sort of design language from the first lot of the Cult of Reha. Now I'm really hoping that this big lad is going to be revealed to be a non-human character. Maybe some mutant from the wastelands. Now this weapon is either going to turn out to be a very unwieldy axe or they're going to release a huge character. I for one hope for the latter. Knowing Joy Toy, we'll probably see these released in the next few months. Now we take a look at Acid Rain World's end of December release slate. This is Trevor Jones' UERA rescue team. Trevor Jones of the NAES lived in a small city in the west of the country, in the foothills of the Violet Mountains. It was unfortunately one of the first places to feel the wrath of the Nation of Hope the theocratic country across the mountains who came down and destroyed Trevor's hometown in a vicious blitz assault. Trevor and his family, poor as they were, found it hard to move, and so in the wake of the nation's retreat, they did their best to rebuild. From a young age, Trevor learned how to survive among the detritus of war, for finding the small materials needed to survive. As he grew up and got stronger, also helped to rebuild or repurpose destroyed buildings, slowly learning the fundamentals of architectural construction. Upon becoming an adult and seeing his community rebuilt and slowly beginning to thrive, Trevor felt a tremendous sense of pride and of duty. He knew he had developed the unique skills necessary to help others who had lost their homes and livelihood. He joined up with the UERA as a rescue team member and now travels across the world to different attacked cities, bringing his self-taught expertise to the crucial rebuilding efforts. However, recently, the threat of the nation has loomed over the horizon once more. Trevor is faced with a choice. Should he continue to work with the UERA, or should he return home and join the fight against zealots who brought his childhood to ruin? Next is the Argot's Combat Medic. Argot's combat medics operate independently from any other military division in the National Army, going where they are needed, and they are often needed. There are not enough medics to go around, and although every medic goes through a complete field training, operating on the battlefield is something only hard experience can teach. Thus, adaptability and ability to learn quickly are the most important traits that medic recruiters will look for. Once deployed, combat medics are treated with utmost respect by both the rank and file end officers. This has led to some accusations that the medics can be at times overly condescending and haughty. But such accusations are only whispered quietly in back rooms, rather than to the faces of their potential saviours. Here is the UERA engineering flea. The UERA Engineering Flea DF-8R is deployed in disaster zones alongside UERA personnel. 
often used to assist in moving debris and carrying out searches for survivors, it's strong enough that it can also assist in transporting wounded in a pinch. Compared with other fleas, UERA personnel are known to develop a fondness of their partners and may personalize their machine companions with bespoke designs. And this is the UERA Rescue Team Kit. The United Emergency Response Alliance, UERA, is an international non-governmental alliance of both civilian and military personnel with medical, engineering, security and firefighting experience who have joined together to provide disaster relief and medical assistance to the inhabitants of Acid Rain World. It is supported financially by the Big Three, although Neo Atlantis has a commanding stake. Key to the work of these brave individuals is the UERA Rescue Team trailer, which carries personnel and equipment to the most dangerous ruins, combat fields and grey zones in search for survivors. The trailer comes with a storage container chock full of the heavy rescue tools needed in a disaster zone. Additionally, each UERA RT trailer comes with an engineering flea to provide assistance in the handling of debris and the conducting of search missions. And finally, we have a new Field Ankylo. The Field Ankylo RV5F2 of the F109 Field Artillery Team is a mobile support all-terrain vehicle that can act as a temporary medical center for injured frontline personnel. Hailed as a lifesaver by the soldiers it supports, the Ankylo is protected in its rear compartment by portable explosion-proof shields, PB shields, allowing combat medics to perform emergency surgery in the case of potentially mortal wounds. The RV-5F2 model was designed at the University of Orth in cooperation with the Argerton Combat Medics Division with the goal of producing an ATV that would be both combat ready and able to make sure that no man would be left behind. It comes with everything a doctor in the field would need, including oxygen cylinders, scalpels, bandages, medicine, bone saws, as well as a foldable table, chair and stretcher. Additionally, the bracket attached to the rear can hold two flea drones, as well as store any extraneous equipment or gear. Sticking with Toys Alliance, we have their limited edition products for 2022, which will be appearing in toy festivals and Comic-Con around the world, and then on Peer Club at the end of the year. We start off with some Millennials and Boss K. Out of the new Millennials, this one's definitely on top of my list. Next, we have three similar designs. Uh, which all just seem to be called uh, Monster Child, com complete with dungarees and a uh, fingerboard. Anyone used to play that when they were younger? And lastly, of the Million Millions, we have the cousin to Rainbow Yumi, the least popular Million Million from the first release, one that I got for my daughter, Lightning. Now, you've got to have something for the old school Acid Rain World fans. And they're coming in with the sole commander of the 88th district troopers this is one i'll be looking to get and i know hunter figure is looking out to get one of these two from annex 2179 we have boys or b-o-y-s autograph version so i'm not sure if this is actually autographed by kit lao or it may be something else i mean it seems like there's no weathering could it be just that no idea i'm sure we'll find out soon and finally we have a couple of arch core releases alongside everything else so look out for that hopefully the pre-orders will be a lot easier than when the million millions were first introduced but the peer club website just crashed we now move on to hasbro and their star wars vintage collection this is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper set. So 
So symbolic were they of the times, the galaxy-wide conflict that saw their debut took its name from their ranks, the Clone Wars. I think this four-figure set is a great idea from Hasbro. I like what they've done so far. This Clone Trooper set seems to be no different. From the gaming greats, we have Stormtrooper Commander. Star Wars The Force Unleashed follows Darth Vader's secret apprentice, trained to hunt down Jedi, while Stormtrooper Commanders lead Imperial troops into battle. Gaming greats Heavy Assault Stormtrooper. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order tells an original story about Cal Kestis, a Padawan who survived the events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. This figure would make a very good army builder, if you can actually find him on any sites. In the UK he is sold out on Hasbro Pulse along with a few of these figures, so good luck finding him out in the wild. Mandalorian Super Commando. A coup topples the pacifist regime of the new Mandalorians led by Maul. His loyal followers modify their armor to reflect their allegiance. These Super Commandos wear red and black armor. Some even fashion horns atop their helmets. So I actually prefer this more simplistic design over the horned design we saw in the last 118 toy news video. Looking great. Anakin Skywalker, Padawan. Anakin Skywalker had the potential to become one of the most powerful Jedi ever and was believed by some to be the prophesied chosen one will bring balance to the Force. So with the Obi-Wan series just around the corner, I suppose it's quite appropriate that they have this announced before the actual show comes out. I'm curious to see how they play out the dynamic between Obi-Wan and Anakin stroke Darth Vader, and if they retcon any uh, of what happened in the movies. Well, time will tell. I just hope that uh, does play out in a way that still fits canon. Hopefully we'll get an announcement soon of figures from that new series as well. 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. Republic clone troopers represented the future of galactic warfare. They formed the backbone of the Republic's new military. The galaxy-wide conflict that saw their debut even took its name from their ranks. So this is another army builder figure, which, surprise surprise, is currently sold out on the Hasbro Pulse UK website at least. So if you can find him anywhere else and you are looking to army build, Go pre-order right now. As ever, all these figures will be released at some point in the next few months, depending on where you're from. From Heia Toys, we start off with a couple of limited edition sets. This from the film Robocop. So this is a set of Robocop and Ed 209 with only 3,000 pieces available. Ed 209 stands at 5.5 inches, with Robocop at 4.1 inches. Up for retail at about $59.99. The next special edition set, also limited to 3,000 pieces, is Judge Dredd vs. Death in black and white. Also available at San Diego Comic-Con 2022, each figure stands at 4 inches 
and will be retailing at $39.99 if you're able to find it. Surprisingly, this is going to be available before the standard release, which hopefully will be very soon. Just announced is Judge Barbara Hershey. Now this seems to be the same buck as Judge Anderson, who we showcased in the last 118 Toy News episode. Just a different head sculpt here. I'm still very curious about the articulation on this line for both female and male figures. Did you watch Squid Game the series? I did. Never thought I wanted figures from them, but looks like we've got some. Discovered by Damon Prisk, I believe, in the communities. Go check out the Premium 118 uh, figure group on Facebook, if you're on Facebook. He's discovered these figures from uh, the site Gundammit. Uh, I don't think this is an official release as they're listed as Red Suit 118 Red Cloves Man Circular Triangular uh, Triangle and Square Set of Three and will set you back $41.99 for the three. They fit in the Warthog here though so right in scale with 118. They can do uh, bends like this, looks like they've got great articulation and sitting down like this which is amazing due to the drop-down hips, which I've not seen before in 118. So yeah, keep your eyes out on this. I think it uh, might be something interesting. So that's it for now. I've got a Reva video I'm working on, which will be out soon, as well as a few other things. I've got the Zing Shan Mecha on the way. Thank you, Awesome Action Toys, for enabling me to buy that after your video. I just thought, oh, I've got to grab that, um, even though I don't really have much space and all that. So expect that and others coming soon. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, check the Patreon, all that. And I'll scale you later.